Welcome back to Battletech with the mod Extended 3025. This is Dr. Obsidia. I've got one more contract to run here. Cease and desist. It says here we have reliable information that a remote Capellan laboratory is attempting to reverse engineer sensitive Davion technology in violation of the usage alliance or license. They have failed to respond to our communications that they cease and desist these unlawful operations. Therefore, we authorize you to execute the license termination clause upon that facility. <laughs> Which basically means bring it down. Destroy everything they have in there. We're not going to let them have any of it. Alright, um... This is, uh... Probably the last mission we did with Destroy Base. Not too much dangerous showed up. I'm going for the money instead. I don't care too much about the reputation here. So, uh, we're gonna drop our, our mechs in. Um, we can go in with uh, the Griffin since it's ranged. Uh, we'll take our Brawler, uh, even though it might not be necessary. Um, our medium uh, ranged fire starter here. We're taking in the big one, so I don't think we need to take that. Uh, other fire starter and instead take something a little bit different I think probably gonna lean towards the commando because of the SRM set up there I think it's gonna be pretty tough to take down turrets you know those SRMs 12 SRMs hit pretty hard all right our big basil our big uh, sorry basilisk we've got our griffin um, let's see, setting these guys up. So Sturm, I think, is the stinger, so we, but we're probably going to take her along anyway. Uh, we could put Kid in a fire starter. Let's put him probably in the brawler. Yeah. And then Kopesh here is probably the uh, stinger as well. Okay. Basilisk was our commando, but we need a Basilisk to go probably in the fire starter or the griffin. I think we'll put Basilisk in the fire starter. It's got more weapons, so he can use his uh, guns a little bit better. And then we've got Kopesh and Sturm. And Kopesh, probably stick her in the commando. No, because indirect fire, so because of the attack, so we're going to put her in there. Because uh, there, uh, there is LRMs there. The commando does have the indirect fire... Uh, capability maybe if you can't see but it's very unlikely to use it the griffin's a little more likely so actually I don't think the SRMs can hit indirect now that I think about it I think it's only the LRMs that do the, the that so that was a good choice then minus one indirect fire penalty I think any mechs we come up against are just going to be light Destroy the building. Watch out for defenders. No problem. It's a glorious spot for mech combat. All right. Position confirmed. Any contact already? Okay, that's the turret then. Uh, we're gonna have to get Sturm going that direction. That turret's pretty far out, isn't it? Um, Ready for orders. Yeah, I think we're going to head into the tree line here. It's a long shot with our fire starter, but... Oh, there's a mech sitting right there, too, but we can't see it. Don't have sensor lock. That's all right. Big hits on that. Sturm could probably finish it off. I think we can see the mech. On my way! Um, let's see. It's got uh, 53 hit points left, so I'm gonna shut down uh, probably the SRM4. I think that should be enough here. They do eight. Yeah, that's 60 some right there. Maybe I don't even need that. I could shut down the two as well. Here we go. 
There we go. Bye bye. I'm here. A kid in the brawler could probably reserve. I don't. I mean, it probably doesn't need to. He could probably sprint actually, but he's already got a lot of pips as it is. So we'll reserve these guys. Gonna camp here until I see. They're gonna reserve as well. We'll see if they move up. Everybody's gonna reserve down to the bottom. We'll see what they do. If I can see, yeah, fire starter. There we go. That's what we want to see. He's got three pips. Uh, yep. Move off to the side here. Missed. A couple minor hits, nothing spectacular. An Ost Scout, which is a light mech, as I recall. Yeah, he's got a single medium laser. Come on now. How am I supposed to be scared of that? Uh, the problem is the other turrets, too. So... Could sprint to the side, I think, so I can kind of stay out of range of that turret. See the blue line there over there on that turret? Gotta stay this way so I don't quite see it. If you say so. That's a sprint, so just outside of the turret's view, I think. A shadow hawk. I think that's a medium mech. Oh. Smack it into the fire starter up front. It looks like it missed. Shadowhawk, I believe, is a medium mech. Yep. SRM2, AC5, nothing spectacular. He's kind of all purpose. What? No. Can't quite hit him. Uh, let's see. Waiting on you, Commander. Come to the side of the Shadow Hawk here. See what that other mech is in the process. Ooh, he's got a lot of armor or evasion pips too. I can't quite see him. Alright, we'll hit the Shadow Hawk here. Good damage going into the side there. That's what we want. That did hurt a little bit, but uh Got some news for him. <laughs> uh, this mech is um, a little bit dangerous to get close to, and they don't realize it yet. Well, I don't know if I want to. Yeah, I guess it's okay. Turn my side. There. Okay. <laughs> Whoopsie. Sorry about that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Surprise! Yeah, go ahead, get close. That's nice. I've been sent to lock. Oh no. Receiving you. Um. Well, I think we're gonna get closer here. We have been sensor locked. Confirmed. So, need to get moving. We've got a bunch of turrets here. A light laser is not too dangerous. And the other one has a large laser, which is a little bit more risky. Um, I think we can put all of our firepower down here. No reason to split it up. Although, we might be able to kill that light laser turret. With some uh, missiles here, it's, it's it's not enough to kill it with one shot. Maybe we'll just let it ride. I think it's far enough out that I don't have to worry about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot into this guy. 
I hit hard with that laser and I don't want a medium mech running around. Ready to rock. Um LRM 10, that's 40, 90 damage is the best I can put out. That's not going to kill that. Um, probably not going to hit him very well. That Shadowhawk's going to take some pretty good hits from me. Or I could try to kill that. That's so far out, I'm not that worried about it. If it starts shooting at me, I may take it out. Let's go after the Shadowhawk. I think he's the biggest danger. And he's got some exposed stuff. Fire it. Oh, I think it's a clear miss with that. I didn't move. I just kind of stayed there. Figured that he's not really under any threat at the moment. Locust. That Shadowhawk is a little bit of a risk here. He just bulwarked. Okay, that was kind of smart, I guess. Let his turrets try to deal with us. All right, so um, our brawler can run up over here and just crack this guy. I could hit him in the back. It's kind of a risk to put my back armor there. Let's just smack him in the side. Moving to position. I'd rather you work it, but... Yep. We'll blow off his arm most of the time with that shot. And then just chop into his torso there. And he's a light mech, so he can't survive it. Too much damage transferred inward. Enemy flanking. That fire starter's getting a lot of hits all around. Okay, Sturm. I hear ya. Why don't you uh, go after that turret? I don't think that's enough to hit. It's pretty close, so let's do this. I'm not sure I can hit, it's right on the edge. Probably go, oh, there's another turret up there too. Jeez. Yeah, you can hit. Yeah, just go after that. Got it. That didn't take him out, but I think we can probably kill him with the uh, Receiving you. fire starter here. Roger. Probably should have checked the armor location because he's going to take some hits from turrets now. Um, it looks okay. Right side's a little banged up, but that's on the other side. All right. So we're going to split up between Shadowhawk. I don't think we're going to do any others. Uh, we need to do 50 some damage to that, so we need two lasers on that. I think I better just put them all on there, because if I miss with one thing, it's not going to work. There we go. Talk it. If I miss with one of those, or the medium laser, it's not going to work. Large later miss, even the two mediums wouldn't kill it either. Shadowhawk's not even fighting back at this point. Yeah, let's just kill this thing, I, I believe. The other turret is indirect fire. We'll go after this one. Target down. Standing by. It's starting to overheat just a little bit. Uh, heat is becoming a little bit of an issue. Got good shots on his back. Uh, I think I'm going after the other turret though. Well, let's see what this turret is. Light defender. I guess I can target it and see. Um, yeah, it's got SRMs, medium laser. Let's go after it. Let's let's kill it. Confirmed. Should be able to kill it with another mech.
that locust is going to be a little bit of a problem. Hey, we're getting out blank. You got nothing, you hear me? Waiting for orders. Don't think the Sturm is going to be close. Oh, maybe he is. Okay, let's move him in. You betcha. Sturm is going to try to take it out with SRMs. What have we got here? 93. Uh, let's just, uh, got plenty of damage. We've got plenty of missiles. Let's just fire them all off. Let's make sure that thing's dead. Could have shut down probably the four. Hey. The kid. Can't quite get up there. Sprint? Let's do a sprint. We need to get up to the Shadow Hawk, so. Otherwise, just a single medium laser is kind of not worth it. Shadow Hawk's gonna come back and fight. Okay, not sure how much of that hit. Didn't go through if it did. Probably take out the turret now. Oh, the turret's gone. Oh, sorry. The uh, Shadow Hawk. Yeah. Take it out. Shoot at it, I guess. coming back over here okay kid what have you got a punch this is his first punch on a medium mech let's see what he can do boom left torso left arm left leg destroyed we just okay he didn't kill it because it was 40% damage reduction but he messed it up receiving you Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna move on to this side. So we don't have our back here anymore. Probably have to shut down some stuff. Go for the leg. Well, I guess we're not overheating. Let's fire it all then. Pilot's injured. Reporting. Critical hit. Good to go. Whoops. Moving out. Well, it just like flashed because of the torso twisted the other way. So I guess we're going after a building. Let's go after the building then. Tell me what to do. Enemy structure damage, command. we can just kind of run from this thing. It's coming after us, but I'm not too worried about it. I don't want to shoot at it. I'm going to go after the downed mech here. Center torso. Oh well, I was kind of hoping to salvage it, but uh, blew it apart. So we'll get one out of it. I guess we can move Kid up here. Affirmative. He's got the uh, small weapons to kind of help out here, so let's just uh, let him unleash. There we go. Locking in target. I hear ya. That'll be overkill. Oh, I didn't take it out. I guess I didn't check it. Standing by. All right, we need to get this one back though. Uh, can't rotate very well, so I'll just probably shoot the large laser. Need to cool down this mech anyway. Aye. Target 
target missed. Confirmed. He's too fast for my brawler Copy that, to hit. Leader. So, brawler will just take out the buildings. Accuracy through volume of fire. Just overwhelm him. With our two big mechs here. Okay, so he's going to run back towards the other group. Good move, just being evasive. Ready for orders. But uh, the problem is the kid is now able to punch. Oh, not able to punch. That's okay. We'll get the kid over here. Advancing. With all the weapons he's got, including the medium laser, he might do quite a bit of damage. Yep. Maybe things are looking up. What can I do for you? Storm could probably get behind him and do the same. Well, to the side and do the same thing. Just with all those rockets, you'd think some would land, and I don't think a single one did. Hey, stand still when I'm attacking you. Standing by. Try to punch, maybe. From behind. With our backup fire starter. Engaging. Yeah. Kill confirmed, Commander. Hey, uh, yo. Only need to destroy two buildings. And they're both almost down. Copy that. Oh, he missed. <laughs> Dang, that's a miss. Yeah, that's pretty pathetic. What now? Copy. Yeah. Good shot, Commander. Enemy structure down. Good to go. Got it. One more to go. No real challenge there from a skull and a half. Took some hits, I mean, nothing went through the armor, so it's not like it was a perfect uh, run, flawless victory, but if it doesn't get through the armor, I call that a win. That's what the armor's there for, is to take hits. Oh, they're gonna dispute. All right, what do we got here? They're gonna give us an LRM as nothing good actually. Standard quality jump jets. They want to get that partial mech sa salvage from the Shadow Hawk. All right, if we refuse, we lose two rep, which I don't care about. So I think we're probably gonna refuse. We can dispute, but I don't want to dispute. So let's just refuse outright. We did the work. We're taking the Shadow Hawk. And we got the other one they wanted too. Good. We needed an S, a small laser. We didn't have any left. It says quantity two, so we got two small lasers. After that. We are done now. I don't think there's any more contracts being refreshed here, so we're going to be on our way. So let's get to our star map here and see where we're going. All right. By now, we're starting to look at places with a little bit higher skull count, actually. So is there anything that's a little bit... The two and a half might be a little bit extreme. There's a couple ones here. And if we continue going, there's a five we don't want to jump to, a four. Um, that's a one. You do research here. There might be some new tech there. You could jump up to one of these locations too. Here's a two skull, which might not be a bad jump. There's a skull and a half, which wouldn't be too bad. 
But if it was something good, nothing spectacular. On this one, it's a black market, former Star League presence, which is good. Low gravity, which is okay. Pirates, good. We like pirates. Of course, they're probably going to be there because black market. Forest, storms, prison planet. There's probably some bad people on that planet. To, uh, travel hub means there's going to be a lot of trade and things there too. And this one has a mega city. So probably a lot of urban fighting and research. Both of them are pretty good. This one's a little easier, but I would like to maybe see a little bit about a harder planet. There's nothing in between I would like to stop at. Primitive civilization, not too interested. Uh, half skull is not that interesting. Let's let's just head all the way to our black market planet now. Wanted to stop and get some more stuff along the way, but um, let's just head out. So we're ready to set course. Travel time 17 days. Course plotted. It's not the one we were originally heading towards. And if it's too hard, we can drop down to the one sculler. That work order you submitted is complete. Okay, so let's take a look here. We've got our javelin now. The javelin's quirk is uh, reduced stability. Check for refit. He's just got two SRM6s. That's it. Nothing else. Lots of jump jets. So he jumps around and fires SRM6s. We could put other missile platforms on him if I dump some of the jump jets. The jump jets are only half half a ton, so I'd have to jump up drop dump a lot of them, actually. Hmm. -mm. We've got two small lasers I could put on him to give him a little bit more firepower uh, by dumping two of his jump jets. He jumps pretty far, so I, I'm going to think I'm going to keep him for now. Let's just keep him. I don't know that I'm going to use him, but uh, he's there if I need, I guess. You can always sell him. Obsidian should be back by the time we arrive. Let's see. Fighting continues between minor powers in the periphery. The Capellan forces have increased raiding activity on Federated Sun systems near the periphery border. Whoopsie, that was kind of us messing around over there too. Two new mech variants have been spotted in the field. The LCAF is a new version of their beloved commando, the Lyran Commonwealth Armed Forces. Their new commando is out, so I'm not too worried about that. The Dracronus Combine has the Hermes 3. Hermes 3 is a medium class mech. New variant. On that, there's the Hermes 2 up there, but they've got the Hermes 3. Uh, the Hatchies Helpers have been dispatched to the Rimworld Frontier to assist with the Pox and uh, nothing else of significance. We'll keep going. So one of the reasons I like this mod, the new mechs pop out, you know, based on when they came out in the actual lore. So you start to see mechs um, spread out through the systems and things slowly as time goes by. They're kind of focused originally on where they started. One more jump. Whoop. Little lag on the jumps sometimes. I don't know why that is. Didn't do that for me before. Maybe because I'm recording, right? <laughs> I was right near the planet when it jumped in. Sometimes it takes several days to get to the planet. This is right near it. That work order is complete, boss. 
Top not to work if I'm All right. Here, Beta pod. Minor infraction. An argument draws you to the mess hall. Kid starts towards you, red face and scowling. Commander, I hate to bother you with this, but Sturm is slacking off again. We're supposed to share garbage detail, but they... Share? You want me to share, Commander? This arsehole is the reason we're on cleanup duty in the first place. She acts like she's my boss. Last week, she filed two dozen complaints with the XO and got us both put on garbage detail, and she did it over nothing. In infractions, a fraction, kid sneers. If you stop messing up, I'll stop reporting you. Wow. I think I'm going to have to dress them both down. Probably both going to hate me. You raise your hand, you silence them. You're both about to lose a paycheck. To stop acting like children. You heard the commander. Kid says, and he shoves a room at Sturm. Get it together. Sturm pushes back. I've got nothing to say to her. Kid isn't listening. She's waiting for me to misstep so she can report me to the XO. That's enough. When you check them through the week, you can feel the hostility in your eyes and the frosty ambivalence. Okay, so they both gain low spirits for 15 days because of We've that. arrived at our destination, commander. We are at Montour now. All right, let's check the store. Got the black market. That's why we came here. So we're going to look and see what they have. Um, a Centurion. Those are pretty nice mechs, actually, the Centurion. Medium class. It's got a pretty good spread of uh, different kinds of weapons you can mount on them. They're uh, brawler. General Assault, plus one to hit enemies at 240 meters or under, so they get close and fight, and the problem is they have non-standard parts, but we can't afford that. That's way beyond our capacity. I do like the dragons, too. Dragons are kind of fun. I had a dragon, I just equipped it all just like a brawler, and it just punched its way to victory every time. It was pretty tough. There's a Hermes, too. Locust, Phoenix Hawk. Lots of, let's check their weapons. Wow, look at that. That's why we came here. Equipment. Oh, another arm mod. Plus 60 stability. Melee stability damage. And knock them over when you hit them. Some gyros we can't afford. An exchanger. Minus 20% weapon heat, but that's four tons. Cockpit. Cockpit mod, plus three injury resistance, pretty nice. Let's check the system things. Um, blackjacks are kind of a nice medium mech, fire support, skirmisher. 10% less buy and sell value though. Usually mounted with a couple ACs on them, They're pretty nice. I'm not going to buy parts of them though. No good weapons, no good ammo, I think, uh, and nothing special there. So we're looking just at the black market. That large laser does plus 10 damage, plus three. This medium does plus three uh, accuracy, plus 50% crit. We could put the PPC on our big guy. That's probably something to do. Bunch more damage from our SRM 6s. SRM 4s. Those are pretty good. They got one each. I think I'm going to buy the SRM. New weapon systems. The other SRM 2. SRM 4. Oh, you get the PPC as well. New weapon systems available. Medium laser. We've got lots of medium lasers that we can put on stuff. And. New weapon systems available. Heat bank would be nice. I'm st I've got to watch my money a little bit here because I do want to do engineering ship upgrades. And we may have uh, other stuff to do too. So we've got all these um, well, med bay. Just medical point is up. Training module is probably too... No, that's not too expensive. They gain extra experience. If they have less than tw uh, 20,000, they benefit... You can also retrain them too, which is good if you mess up. Hydroponics, gymnasium, they get more morale. 
library. Upgraded lounge. Good repair and refit, but uh, I think we're going to pass on that one for the time being. Structure, we're not going to do that right now. Med bay is too expensive. Training model module is not too bad, and I think that all of our guys can benefit from that. So I'm going to go ahead and build that. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. Training module two. All right, uh, let's take a look at the hiring hall here. We do have some extra beds now. Ooh, fireball. Receiving you. Fireball gets. Um, He's low on the attack or t uh, tactics, but he does have bulwark and multi-target, which is good for the the bigger mechs, I guess. He's a defender, you know, stand off and fire. He gets cover, he gets benefit from cover, and he can also brace if he has to, or use the. Um, Resolve to brace is usually what I would do. He's in, let's see, commoner, enlisted infantry, gives, given the lethal, let's see, nothing special there. Military, command, bonus XP for every pilot in the lance if a command is, pilot is present. Ooh, pilot has reduced injury times. He's pretty good. I mean, we don't really have a mech for him. I mean, I have to train him in some light stuff. The other ones are just kind of, uh, you know, whatever. Lobies. No. Waiting for orders. Lucky Mech Warrior. Mood changes based on funding. Waiting for orders. Reduce XP from combat. Gearbox. Military spacer. Merchant. You think Gearbox would have some tech stuff too? Rebellious, which is probably not a good thing. Mech Warrior. Receiving you. I'm gonna pick up Fireball. I mean, we don't have the mech for him, but. He's good. And then, um, Gearbox, maybe? She's rebellious. I don't want to pick Rebellious up. Waiting on you, Commander. Lucky, Noble, um, and Mech Warrior. Let's see, Commander? Smolder. Chisel. Chisel's Cautious, Noble, and Mech Warrior. Hey. Good to go. Either Lucky, which... Is uh, less wounds or cautious, harder to hit, but suffers to hit penalties too. So she's just uh, not as good, but also a little bit harder to hit too. Um. Yes, commander. Good to go. Let's take Steel Jaw instead. New mech warriors available. I don't need to fill up my uh, my barracks. Don't need to do that. I got six more, so I'm gonna to go to other systems. May find somebody really good. Good to go. Fireball, we can level up his piloting skill uh, and so on. So let's go ahead and get his other stats up some. Training confirmed, Commander. Okay. Yes, let's Commander. Check everybody Ready else. For Ready for orders. Ready for orders. Mech warrior training complete. I do like to just get them all at four so they can pilot those light mechs fine and then aye, aye. later level them up when I decide. So Herringbone is going to pick something here. I'm here. Standing by. So is Moped. I hear ya. Steeljaw is going to gain up everything. She started with some good stuff there. Commander? Sturm. Training confirmed, Commander. All right, so um, herringbone. Waiting for order. Herringbone has a decreased chance of ejecting due to panic, which means she's probably good in heavier mechs a little bit because they do get hit quite a bit. So that's kind of useful to know. Um, she is trained, as I recall, in the light mech. Uh, Yeah, the commando, but we're going to probably switch her off that because I'm not really fond of the commando alone. But it's a good mech to be in. Green mech pilot. Uh, 
Um, if she has decreased chance of panic... Could go with Bulwark. That allow her to take more hits, actually. And then she won't panic as well. I think I need to send her that route just because that's who she is. Could make her bulwark. Um, I don't need to send her light if she can take hits. Let's go ahead and do that. Guts. She's gutsy. She's dependable. Mech warrior training complete. Orders. Okay. There we go. And take a look at the contracts before we call it here. See what we're up uh, with here. Uh, we've got some, yeah, skull, two skulls, skulls and a half, two. That's kind of what we wanted. Clash of the Titans is a battle. Taking down assault mech. Got an interesting opportunity for you. We've recently detected a major engine. It's an assault. It's a Torian assault mech. Wow. That is tempting to go after. They're prepared to offer us generous salvage terms. Another assault powering up, and it's a different mech entirely, and it's closing with the target. So there's two two fighting each other, and we just go in and pick up the pieces. Now, assault mechs, they touch me, I'm going to explode. <laughs> but the good news is, I can punch with them. But um, that's a little dangerous. They're going to be battling it out, so kind of get behind them with the light mechs and uh, kill them. Let them shoot each other a little bit till they soften each other up. There's a capture base. Probably some pirate assassination here. Um, duel, duel, a duel, which is kind of fun. These might be tough, actually, some of these two scholars. So it's probably going to be Clash of the Titans and the Assassination first, just to see what um, we're coming up against. Then we'll try to run something for our team here, maybe capture base. Ooh, Torin Corda hates this mission. Yeah, we're hurting our friends here by sticking around. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a mission for the pirates and for the taurine. Then I'm going to try to do maybe two or three missions here. We're going to see. Don't want to damage our reputation too much. Then we can head somewhere else. But uh, some good money here and some good salvage here too. So this might be something to take a look at. We may up the salvage some. Okay. Thanks for joining. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next episode.